Today we're going to have a look at a Mule Resonator guitar, and you're going to find out why this Mule Resonator doesn't quite look the way it should. All that and more right after this. On this show, you'll see guitars from all major manufacturers and small bench luthiers. I've had the pleasure of reviewing over 500 acoustic guitars, and in each review, I play the same songs recorded the same way, so you can compare the sound of any guitar I've ever reviewed. I'm Tony Policastro. Welcome to Acoustic Guitar Heaven. Today I have the absolute pleasure to review a Mule Resonator guitar. Mule guitars are made by Matt Ike and his crew in Saginaw, Michigan. And as I mentioned, this guitar doesn't look like it should because this guitar is actually a tricone resonator guitar. But you'd never guess that from the front of it because it looks like, well, it looks like a single cone. And I've reviewed a single cone before. Great bark, great bite, but this tricone is a whole different beast. This is a steel-bodied mule tricone resonator. Underneath this single biscuit-style cover plate is your traditional tricone layout. Essentially, it's like three small resonator cones that this bridge sits on, and it really just emanates sustain. It has a wonderful punchy tone, and it rings much longer than a standard single biscuit cone resonator does. Now, as with all mule guitars, it has a, a custom mule tailpiece that's crafted right in Matt's shop in Michigan. Uh, the cover plate, a mini humbucker right on the body here. You can plug it in if you want to do that. The neck is absolutely a dream to play. Now, Matt, I know, came from Husson Dalton down in Stanton, Virginia, and he did neck carving at Husson Dalton. And when he started Mule Resonator Guitars, uh, obviously, he put his, his tools and trade to work because this neck is absolutely gorgeous and uh, really, really easy to play. It's got a, kind of a, a, what I would call a V profile. It's bound in maple. It's ebony fingerboard with dot inlay. I believe it's an inch and three quarter nut width on this, maybe just a little shy of that. It's a black tusk nut, uh, slotted style headstock with three on a plate tuners on the side. Really cool uh, mule inlaid in metal on the top. and. Uh, this is a, there's a great story behind this guitar because Matt had emailed me uh, some time ago and he said, hey, I got this tricone here. I'd love for you to do a review of it. And I said, oh, absolutely. I mean, of course, I would love for a guitar to come in and review it. So the guitar came in and uh, I had played it for about a week or two weeks prior to um, kind of scheduling the review finally. And um, in the meantime, Matt said, hey, do you know anybody that'd be interested out there uh, in that guitar. And I said, well, yeah, me, because I absolutely love it. <laughs> so I ended up actually purchasing it and making this guitar my own. So I'm just so pleased to finally do this review, and uh, I, I want you to hear how incredible these this particular guitar sounds. And now I play the guitar with finger picks mostly because it really draws out the punch and clarity that I like out of this instrument. The steel body and the tricones really add, as I mentioned before, this, this unique body and wonderful sustain to this resonator guitar. And one of the things that I absolutely love about this guitar is that it sounds like it's plugged in. Now, most resonator guitars do, but this guitar has this inherent reverb and this quality that is, uh, uh, um, it's, it's hard to describe. It's like a crystalline articulation that uh, has this bark and grit to it as well. So 
So uh, strongly, strongly recommend. If you love resonator guitars, if you just want to kind of dabble in resonator guitars, definitely put Mule guitars on your list. Mule Resophonic guitars. Again, they're up in Saginaw, Michigan, and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. They offer a ton of different options, body options, and uh, as well as uh, they're doing some electric stuff now as well. So uh, make sure to check them out. And while you're here, uh, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's super easy. Hit that red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that little gray bell. That'll give you a notification each and every time I release a new video. And as a subscriber to this channel, you can expect guitar reviews, guitar lessons, and of course, the Acoustic Tuesday show, which if you have not seen that yet, you absolutely must. So please dig into this channel and subscribe. And thanks for checking out the review.